In this video, I'm going to give some helpful hints for the violin three or viola three Aztec warrior part. If you look in the top left corner of your paper and it says violin three or violin III or viola three, this is the video for you. We start off with our quick quicks, our TTF sharps for four measures. And in between those uh, F sharp, F sharps, I recommend saying rest and. That way you don't accidentally start rushing. If you just say rest, you might accidentally fill that rest too quickly with the next note. Let's start at the beginning and just do those F sharp eighth notes. Four measures of them, beginning, go. Rest and, rest and, rest and, rest and. Measure three, rest and, rest and, rest and, rest and. Then we come to four quarter notes and two half notes. Starts with open D. We're in measure five. One, two, three, four. This is the TTs, the quick F sharps we had at the beginning. These bows are gonna feel longer when you get to the open D, and then even longer when you get to the half note Ds in the last measure of the first line. Let's play the whole first line. One, two, first line, go. Rest and, rest and, rest and. Measure three, rest and, rest and, rest and. Open D. the second line it starts like uh, three did and then like three does we eventually get to some quarter notes but this time the quarter notes start on F sharp and go up to our A string let's do the second line and stop at 11 second line but stop at 11 one two ready go rest and rest and rest and rest and A string half note half note that was me saying go to the A string, but then those half notes are B. You can see that it has a one above it telling you to put a first finger down. Um, let's move on to the 11. If you want to play through all of this piece, look at the video uh, that's shorter for Aztec Warrior for violin three and viola three. At 11, we're going kind of up a D scale, but we stop at G. I also noticed that they're not colored in, so we're going to continue with our half notes. You've got to say something in your head to make the half notes an accurate amount of time. I'm going to be saying half notes. Another good choice would be slow bow. So let's play at 11. You'll want to notice that after your four measures of half notes, two at the end of line two and two measures at the beginning of line three, you then go into quarter notes. And that's when you have to energize your bow because you've been in this half note mindset. And then you have to go back to the footsteps of one, two, one, two. If you want to just listen this first time and then back up the video and try it again, um, that would be a good idea if you're having trouble with the difference between half notes and quarter notes. Here we are at 11 with our half note D scale but only up to G. 11, go. D, E, F sharp, G, 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 F sharp, E, now quarter notes. That really reminds me of a scale in measures 15 and 16 where we have D, D, E, E, F sharp, F sharp, G, G. Let's go again from 11. But go all the way um, to the end of the third line and make sure you say the shushes out loud in 17 and 18 like we've been doing in class. Let's go from 11 and keep going all the way to the end of the third line. Here's 11 with our half notes. One, two, 11, go. Half note, half note, half note, half note. Next line, half note, half note, half note. Now quarters. Eighth notes. Shh, shh. Shh, shh. You then jump to 39. That's a weird jump to go from the end of the third line to go all the way to 39. Let's do that again. It's an interesting section here where you start with half notes, then you go to quarter notes, and then you go to eighth notes. So it's a lot of exercises in long bows, then shorter, then shorter. And that's something to look out for. Let's do 11 again and go all and keep going. So we'll go from 11 to the third line and then we'll jump to 39. Here's 11, one, two, 11 half notes. Half note, half note, half note, half, next line, half note, half note. Now quarter notes. Now eighth notes. 39. 
rest and, rest and, open D, half note, half note, rest and, bottom line, rest and, rest and, F sharp, F sharp, and stop there. You'll notice that 39 is exactly like 3. So if you were to start at 3, it would sound the exact same as if you were to start at 39. If you had a little trouble going from 11 to the third line all the way to 39, that'd be something to go back and keep practicing. Starting at 11, going to the third line, and then jumping to 39. We are going to do 47. 47 has quarter notes, then half notes, then an interesting rhythm at the end. Let's play the last measure. The last measure, open D. Quarter, eighth, eighth, quarter, rest. Again, go. Quarter, eighth, eighth, quarter, rest. Again, go. Long, short, short, long, off. Again, go. Long, short, short, long, off. That's our rhythm there. But we have to add one more piece to it because there are little dots under the notes. Those are called staccato dots. And staccato dots make the note shorter. That doesn't mean you're going to get to the next note faster. The next note should still occur at the same time. It just means there's going to be some silence between the notes because you're going to stop your bow early. Don't go to the next note early, but stop your bow and then kind of wait until it's time for the next note. Let's try it versus talking about it more. Here's the last measure with staccato dots on the quarter notes. Ready, go. Again, go. Short, eighth, eighth, short. Again, go. Short, eighth, eighth, short. And on the last short, I'm going to take my bow off the string. Last measure, ready, go. Short, eighth, eighth, short. Again, go. Short, eighth, eighth, short. And take the ball off the start on the last note one more time. And ready, go. Short, eighth, eighth, short. Let's start from 47 with our quarter notes. One, two, 47. F sharp, E, D, F sharp, half note, half note, short, short. Again, 47. One and two quarter notes, 47. Half note, half note, short, short. The last thing to do there, we kind of see this alligator mouth. That's telling us to get louder and louder. So start kind of quietly at 47 and then move your bow towards the bridge and use a heavier arm, little by little. Here's 47. Try to crescendo, try to get louder. One and two and ready, go. by moving our bow little by little towards the bridge and adding more weight with our arm little by little. I hope that was helpful. I also have a video where I play for the violin three, viola three, Aztec warrior all the way through without so much talking.